but I think Marshall, Castell, Turner, and Devin Moore. I'm pretty it's, excited it's, about that, Corey. <laughs> some gangster things going on on the back end. Pause. It's some gangster things going on, bro. I, I love that secondary. Size wise, like ain't, ain't no small dude. Smallest dude is probably Shreve Denson at five eleven. He's every bit of six foot himself. So uh, good size. You know, good speed, good strength, a lot of experience. You know, there's not it's 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 time to eat, man. Will Harris like bring this thing back, DBU. But I'm excited about the secondary. Straight up. Even when if we spell, like who you think's the first come off the bench? Uh I don't know if the cornerback, if it's left, right, really locked in like that. So you think it's Jakeem, uh Jackson or Dijon to come off the bench first if one of those guys to go down. You're muted, Dan. I think it's Jakeem. I think we saw a little bit more at Jakeem last year. I'm still very high on Dijon Johnson. I think that he's a great player. Uh, but I think Jakeem is probably the next one uh, off of that, uh, out of that group. But, you know, again, we'll we'll see what it looks like, right? But I don't know how many snap differential, what the snap differential will be between Jakeem Jackson or Dijon Johnson. I mean, I obviously think that there's going to be a big drop off between them. And if you get down to Teddy Foster, Jameer Grimsley, uh, you don't want to see you know, that probably uh, early on in a game. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, I think Jakeem first and then Dijon uh, second off the bench. Yeah, and nobody should be shocked that um, Kermani McClain isn't on the depth chart right, right now. Like, there's no surprise there. We've been saying that. Uh, we expect him not to play this this fall uh, to be a guy that, that I don't even think on special teams. Um, we're going to see how patient he is and how much he matures this fall, you know, but this is a part of the process. Uh, he's going to have to wait his turn uh, as a quote-unquote walk-on. Mm -hmm. um, we got guys capable at the position that that already got their head on straight. So it's a developmental process with Kermani, you know, but he'll be ready to play next year. And then what happened with Cam Carroll? Is he still injured? He's coming off a very bad injury. Uh, I still think that there's a chance that he could play this year. Uh, that group is is pretty loaded in terms of number of bodies and everything else. So there certainly could be a chance that that he plays or earns a spot, but I don't know whose spot he earns, right? He was not working out during uh, the spring, not much during the summer. I know he's back now, and I know that there's a chance, but I just don't know uh, how much you could expect to see out of Cam Carroll uh, this season. Kickoff, Trey Smack, no no surprise. Place kicking, Trey Smack. Punter, Jeremy Crawshaw. Long snapper, Rocco Underwood. A holder is going to be Jeremy Crawshaw. Kickoff returner. Bunch of oars here. Montrell Johnson or Elijah Badger or Jaden Ball or Jacoby Jackson. 